Hello again YouTube and I'm back with another video here and in this video right here I show you uh, what I've been working on um, and, uh, and with a suggestion that, that came from uh, Philip over at Solar Power Electricity and Electronics yeah he recommended that uh, to charge the capacitors you know like for instance my boost box uh, you can use a light bulb that you can get out of a car an incandescent light bulb and you just simply, uh, you know, tie it together in with with the uh, power source, and it'll charge the capacitors slowly and so and more safely. Um, and I've tested the, the the idea, the concept of, and it and it, it, it does work. So what I did was I went to Auto Part, the Auto Part store, got me a light, got a 12 volts or you know uh, adapter. And you know, got some wire, some extra wire that I had, and this is the project box that I had for uh, my uh, AC capacitor project that I kind of uh, got away from. And you know, a couple of alligator clips, and, you know, so to, to connect to the box. So this portion right here will just simply tie into, um, you know, some type of charging source. Like for instance, I can hook it up to a battery and it will charge it slowly and this portion right here will hook up to the boost uh, the boost box uh, and then it will charge up the capacitor slowly anyway again this is a little project here and uh, I'll see how it works out in a minute take care okay YouTube and here is a practical demonstration of the charging process so what we have here is this light is on, this incandescent light is on, and the power is coming from this uh, Stanley jump box here. And uh, again, it is a piece of crap, but it can be used for something. And uh, current voltage of, this, of that particular battery was like 12.7 volts or something like that. And so we have the jump box, <coughs> and as you can see here, the voltage is slowly climbing, um, and it's slowly being charged. Uh, ever so slowly, but it is being charged. And so with this right here, as soon as the uh, charging is complete, this light will actually go out. And you know that's how you know it's done. Um, one of the reasons, one of the ways, obviously, you, you know, you depending on you know your capacitors and so forth and how much the maximum voltage it will take, um, you need a multimeter, uh, a volt, some type of voltmeter. And uh, you know, kind of keep you, uh, you know, in check as far as making sure it doesn't get, you know, overcharged. But um, so as soon as this light gets dim, then the box will be charged. Okay, stand by YouTube, and I'll see about getting back with you as soon as the charging is complete. Okay, YouTube, and this is the uh, result of the charging process. As you can see, um, the light is actually out, and uh, it's still charging. And uh, you know, this, you know, I guess there's some, there's still some, um, you know, electricity still going through this. But uh, you know, the thing is, for the most part, the light is out, and the voltage is still slowly 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 climbing uh, it didn't take that long to charge um, as you can see it's, it's 12.27 volts and this is this is more than enough to start a car uh, but anyway again this particular uh, you know jump box provided the you know the needed electricity uh, to charge my capacitor bank and through this particular device right here um, I was able to do it safely. There is no arcing or sparking or anything like that. Uh, the process was slow, but it wasn't too slow, actually. Um, it was a, you know, it was it was a, a very moderate pace. Um, it wasn't ultra fast, but it wasn't it wasn't too slow, so it was it was fine. And as you can see, we're at 12.3 volts, and again, that's more than enough to uh, charge the bank. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the car and just finish it off with a quick burst uh, from the alternator and it will put it up to like around 13.9 uh, 13 volts or something like that. Uh, so anyway you two, just a little, uh, a little uh, tips and tricks for you that if you want to charge capacitors 
you know, you could use a bulb and you can build yourself a little project box like I built here, um, really simple, and you can charge a capacitor bank safely. Okay, take care of you too.